Hello, hello, my fellow diamond friends, and welcome back to my channel. I'm the host of today. My name is Kali Kalu on the internet, and I also go by the name of Kali. Um, what we're going to do today, I'm going to show to you this post review of this beautiful picture called Afternoon Tea by Randall Spengler. Um, it is a round diamond painting. It's 20, 20 to 27 inches or 56 to 69 centimeters. And I bought it by the company Diamond Art Club. So like you can see, um, the picture is very, very beautiful. It's the first one I did by Diamond Art Club since I'm a very new diamond painter. And today I decide to give you my honest review about uh, this picture. So it's going to be a little short, uh, but there are some information I have to give you. So first of all, what I noticed when I started off, it was really, really great uh, quality because the canvas already is made of this satin-like, um, a very nice tissue fabric. And um, that's, that's really pretty and it sparkles a little bit. It's really, really shiny. And I really enjoyed the color quality of it, of not just the canvas itself, but also of the drills. I did not have many trash in them. Uh, I'm sorry, but since it's the first picture I did by Diamond Art Club, I can't tell you if these are the new or the old drills I did get. Uh, maybe in the future I can tell you, but uh, right now I'm not able to say so. So what I noticed when I started off, I like to cut my canvas into parts and I like uh, to do a little boxes like this where I know where I can work with. Usually I use masking tape to do this. Um, well, I use washi paper, washi tape around the borders like you can see here. But I usually use the masking tape to section the canvas off into parts. Um, but I noticed that this was not working with this canvas. I don't know. Uh, it was due to the quality of the cover sheet that's transparent. It just did not stay there. I worked on other transparent cover sheets and it worked with them pretty well. So I was a little bit annoyed about this. But in the end I covered them up with washi tape and then it worked pretty well to cut them into pieces and to open them up as I needed them to work on. So that was the first thing. The only thing, this, there's one other thing that I have to criticize a little bit, but except from that, it was really great to work on. And like I said, it's not something big. It's not a huge deal. It's just um, for me, it was a little inconvenient because I didn't want to use washi tape to section off my canvas. I prefer them around to keep them around the border. So it's just a preference. It's easier with masking tape for me. Um, so, when I started doing this diamond painting, I was super surprised by the quality of the drills. They are really amazing. Uh, they look so, so good and they sparkle so, so much as well. I can, I will just um, light, put on the light so you may see it. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it actually, but like the drills, they shine so brightly. It's amazing how... They reflect the light and uh, the sparkle is just everywhere. Not just where the diamonds are, the ABs, but mostly everywhere. I'm gonna... Okay. So what I wanted to talk to you about as well is not just the quality of the drills, but like you can see, the picture looks really, really beautiful. And it does even look better than I thought it would look. Um, last time when I did the unboxing, I told you I would show you where the ABs would go. Unfortunately, my little mind forgot about it later on. And so I thought I'm going to show you these today. So we had three ABs in this kit. We had one, two and three. The one was the greenish one. And the green one goes mostly uh, entirely in the dragon. So we had that everywhere in the dragon, everything that's covering its skin mostly. And we also had a very little part of it here in the cup of tea. So um, that this makes it sparkle, reflect a little bit more. That was beautiful because this makes our dragon shine. And we also have it a little bit here in the leaves, like you can see. Um, 
it's really popping up then and the second one was the blue one the blue one is mainly here in the cup you can see it all over here just to make this reflection shine a little bit more we also have it here in the background and a little bit here in the sugar bowl but that's it so mainly the cup and the sugar bowl and the background and then we had this number three this is the white one and this goes everywhere you find it everywhere a little bit in the picture we have it here just to make shining more clear we have it also here everywhere on the tea bag this whole strip here where it's linked to the tea bag is all made of these diamonds these ab's here it's a little bit also in um, the cup here in the sugar bowl and also uh, we have it in the dinosaur, in the dinosaur, what I'm saying, in the dragon, we have it too, uh, in its skin. And this brings me to the only part I did not like as much, and that is this white spot here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there are two ABs that shine here. And I don't know why, I guess... It's a little bit of a reflection. It's also in the original painting. You can see this white thingy. Um, I don't like that. For me, it looks like a booger. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it, but I try to change it. Um, I try to put on the brown here that I have around the nose. I try to put that down here as well. But... Um, it's just like, I don't know if you know, but the canvas behind the diamonds is painted a little bit so that it gives it a little bit more of detail, more finish to the painting. So when I replaced the white ones with the brown ones, well, the background was still white and I could still see the white. So I either had to color it and I don't know how I would have colored it. Or I just kept it that way. So in the end, it's not that big. It's not a big deal. But for me, it looks a little bit, I don't know, uh, because that's just my interpretation. Like, um, I guess it will be, it's, it's still super cute. Don't get me wrong. I really love this picture. I love the image. She looks so cute. The teacup is so beautiful. Um, it's just sometimes I look at it and I see this white thingy and I wonder why. Just why did you put it there? And I just can't change it. And that's the thing that... Um, it's bothering me most and I'll probably look out for some some video I can find on the internet or some I know there are other diamond painters who are um, just doing that a little bit more like changing up or um, look making putting in ABs and stuff maybe I can find out a way to just uh, take them out make them brown or just make the white background not um, be as uh, seeable when I put the brown ones down. So, this being said, I really like this one. This painting was amazing. I did it so quickly. I worked on it for 10 days uh, with one day where I did not work on it. And I think it turned out so beautifully. And I don't have much left to say. I told you in my very first video on this channel that there were some companies that I thought were more expensive than for example on Aliexpress and I have to say that I now totally get also why because the quality is so much different you pay more but you also get more I did not have to deal with popping drills I did not have to deal with a lot of trash the canvas is amazing the quality is amazing I have a beast in it I'm super super happy and I have to tell you that um, while I was working on this I ordered other paintings and canvases from Diamond Art Club as well, just because I fell in love with the quality and how good this is to work on. So if you want to work on something and if you don't want to to get head uh, acres just by, by the quality of it or by maybe some problems you might encounter, just go buy something from Diamond Art Club. I know it's a little bit more expensive, but the quality is totally worth it. So this being said, I want to wrap it up. I will just give you a good look at the canvas and then I wish you a very, very nice day. Please stay healthy, stay hydrated and I will see you in my next video. Bye!